Hey everyone, today I'll be showing you guys how to make a super cute polymer clay milkshake charm such as these ones shown here. To make this charm you will need polymer clay in four different colors. White, the color for your milkshake, pink, and red. You're also going to need some sort of tool to create the fluffy texture of the froth of the milkshake. So I'm just using a dotting tool, but you can use whatever kind of tool you have. You can substitute it for a bobby pin. You're also going to need some sort of tool to cut your clay. I'm using an X-Acto knife. You're going to need an icing tip for the frosting or the whipped cream on top of the milkshake, I mean. You're also going to need some sort of tool to push out the clay out of the icing tip. So I'm just using this tool with a rounded edge. It makes it really easy to push out the clay and you can find the, these tools at your craft store. You're going to need a pair of wire cutters, some wire, and I already pre-cut this wire. This wire is going to be used for the straw of my charm. And lastly, you're going to need a head pin or an eye pin. So I'm just using a gold one. Begin by taking your milkshake colored piece and breaking off a tiny section of it, or a large section depending on how big you want your charm to be. Then go ahead and roll it into a sphere. Next, you're going to roll out one end to create a cylinder shape. Then you're going to flatten the top a little bit and continue rolling and perfecting the shape. Once you've done that, you're going to go ahead and pop this in your fridge or freezer for about five minutes so that the clay becomes hard and it can be easily cut. As you can see, the top will now be nice, flat, and perfect. Now you're going to take some white clay and you're going to break off another small piece. You're going to roll that into a sphere as well. And you're going to just flatten that a little bit and kind of roll out the edges to make it more like cylinder shaped. And flatten it some more. Then just attach it to the top of your previous piece and then continue rolling it out so that it blends with your bottom piece. Next you're going to take your dotting tool or whatever tool you're using to create a frothy effect. Now for the frothy effect basically what I do is I just press the dotting tool into the clay multiple times and maybe swirl it around a bit just kind of make it a little bit puffy so it looks like froth. Keep doing this all the way around. Next you're going to take your icing tip and your tool and you're going to push out your whipped cream. I'm using a Wilton 18 star tip. You're going to take your tool and just push out the whipped cream. And just keep doing this until you push out a long stream of whipped cream, about this length. Next you're going to take your whipped cream and you're going to cut off a piece. Then you're going to just kind of swirl the whipped cream by twisting it. And you're going to wrap it around the top part of your charm. So I like to first press it down like this and then I just swirl it.
and then it gives the illusion of having a whipped cream swirl on top. Take your white and pink clay and roll them out into long snakes and make them quite thin. Take your two snakes and stick them together. Gently press all along the two snakes. Then twist them together. Then roll your snake out so that the colors blend together. Take your wire and stick it where your snake is. Roll it out some more to make it thin. Cut off the excess. And don't forget to clear a little bit for the part that you're going to stick your straw into your charm. Stick this into your charm. pressing it into the whipped cream. Finish off by taking your red clay, rolling it into a sphere, taking your dotting tool and pressing a little indent in it so that you can create the little hole of the cherry. and press that on top of your charm. Now I made this one slightly different from my other two, so if you wanna make it like those and have the translucent base at the bottom, just use some translucent colored clay and press it down. Then you can add a head pin or an eye pin to your charm and then bake it based on the instructions of your clay packet and you can glaze it. So I hope you guys all enjoyed this video and please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Bye.